as you can see from the title, this is the largest screen that we've ever reviewed in AP Tech channel. So we've got 120 inch motorized ALR screen from Nothing Projectors. The one behind me, it's a fixed ALR screen. So we're going to compare that one in contrast with this motorized. This is for those who want to change their living room game to an actual home theater system. This ALR screen does not come cheap, but it is built with premium quality. So we're going to unbox and also set it up and see how does it compare with a fixed ALR screen compared to a motorized. And again, a motorized ALR screen, it's very convenient in some cases because you don't want to have a screen forever. So you can actually move it. Whereas the fixed screen, as you know from the name, it is fixed. So you can have to move around. But with the ALR screen, again, because it's heavy and quite bulky, again, you may not find it quite convenient to set it up every single time. So we're going to quickly unbox and also set it up. And I'm going to show you a small comparison between this fixed LR screen and this one and go a little bit more detailed on what you could expect on this LR screen from Nothing Projectors. Now, just before you unbox it, I'm going to suggest you to have a second pair of hand. I normally have my cameraman to support me in terms of setting up projectors as well as large TVs. But because today is a holiday season and it's all on my own in the studio, so I'm going to be unboxing and it's going to be a quick like a vlog style so you can guess what to expect. Now we're gonna start it off by removing all of these dressings and then we're gonna take it to naked, obviously the projector being naked and see how does it compare with this fixed ALR screen. I'm hoping I have the ALR screen the right way around now I've taken off the box. All I have to do is just take these supports off. So you've been provided an instruction manual and accessory box here. So you're just gonna take a look what's inside the accessory box. You get your USB controller. So this goes into your projector and you've got your remote control and your two pin power socket and then some base here as well three millimeter tape so you just put it underneath and it's easy to move it around let's quickly take a look at the remote controller okay so this feels quite strong and very premium and it confirms the led light there as well so the first thing that we need to do is put the cable in we're going to quickly boot it up using the remote so the arrow up it means up obviously arrow down means down and then middle one is just stop Just for context, so that way you can understand how big this ALR screen it is. You can see in my hands, I can never reach edge to edge and the projector screen is larger than me. So you can imagine this is a huge projector. Now, in a quick comparison, you can see this ALR screen compared to this one. You can see this is huge. Hmm. I thought this was big, but this is a lot bigger. So you're 120 inch, so it's just 20 inch bigger than this one, but in real life, this looks huge. So taking a look at the back, it feels pretty solid. I'm gonna take it down the LR screen, bring the USD projector and put it on here. I'm gonna bring it down. Yeah. The HDMI port, like that. The next one is this one here. And then power goes in here. So you've got Google and you've got your power in. Okay, so the USB goes in here. As soon as we turn on the projector, the air last screen should come on. Now that the projector is fully set up, you can see the quality. We're gonna turn off the lights and see if there's any difference. So you can see there's a light there and there's a light behind me here. 
obviously this is unparalleled quality. There's no comparison to whatsoever. So we're just gonna play HDR content. Pay extra attention to the darker areas, especially at the bottom. In comparison to my height, I'm five foot nine, five foot 10. Now this air loss screen makes me look like a baby and it's insanely huge that I can't seem to fathom. Now, obviously I don't have both screens side by side, but judging based on the previous videos, the air loss screen looks pretty much the same. Watching my favorite content and as well as movies on this 120 inch is insanely amazing. Having 120 inch air loss screen on this living room it's kind of overkill simply because this living room is pretty small and watching this huge screen it feels like you are overwhelmed so if you do have a massive living room then i would definitely suggest you to go ahead with this 120 inch but if you do have a smaller living room like mine or smaller than this then i wouldn't advise you to go for 120 inch and obviously the price also makes a huge difference the bigger the screen the more expensive it gets. Who is it for and would you actually purchase a motorized air loss screen instead of a fixed? The fixed air loss screen, sometimes it feels like it's more convenient because you have it there on the wall and you're good to go. So that's quite convenient when it comes to having it fixed. But the setup process is a lot harder and because it's fixed, you don't have the room for you to move your air loss screens from one room to the other. Whereas this motorized air loss screen, Obviously with a smaller size, you have the ability to move it from one room to the other, or if you actually move out, it is easy to transport it from one house to the next. Final thoughts of this projector. As you can see from the name, it is ambient light rejection screen. So it rejects all of the light. This room is well lit. You've got light right here. You've got light here. You've got light, a blue light behind me. So obviously the room is well lit, but the projector is still showing really well. During the daytime, the projector is also doing amazing. This is an example where you can actually see we're watching our content and the projector is still holding up really well. Most of the projectors, if you're projecting it on the wall or a simple cheap screen, then you won't be enjoying your content to the maximum capa capacity. Irrespective of how powerful your projector it is, if you don't pair it with the right screen, then you won't enjoy your content to the full capacity. Obviously you want to watch a movie as the creator intended. Now you've made it to the end of today's video. If you're still here, let us know in the comment section, would you purchase a 120 inch LR screen? If no, let us know why. Till next time, watch this video.